come on virus Just think about it Words leave you coughing Flow leave you wheezing Sneezing That just proves I'm colder than a sneasel Pass me Hello, Retro Bro here, giving you a Pokemon Showdown and U tier subscriber battle against my friend Crimson. So, looking at his team for here, it's actually a real nice variety of Pokemon. Kangaskhan is not too bad in NU, you don't see it often, so it's pretty cool to see. And he opened with Golem. Now, the reason I opened with Weezin was because I assumed that possibly Lugent or Golem would have came out being the weakness policy set which is the set you guys probably seen in a few of my other videos anywho he won't be able to earthquake here so that's a good thing kinda want to scout out for that before deciding to switch from Weezin and it looks like he's going for the stealth rocks also at this point the sturdy is down so we'll go ahead and hit him hard and not worry about the weakness policy from where his current health is the possibility of it being there still could have been that it was, so I wanted to weaken him a bit before trying to take him out, because if he had the weakness policy with Sucker Punch, it would have been a really bad day for me. And I didn't want to defuse that bomb. Alright, from this point on, I will switch to Weezing to try to wall it. However, Lil Gint usually have Sleep Powder, so he will be taking the bullet. In hindsight, I should have had a grass Pokemon on this team. Something I normally do, but I did not do this time. So let's go ahead and go to Flareon now. So he goes for Quiver Dance, which will definitely make him go first, but he can't beat Flareon, so hopefully he will switch. Ah, I guess he forgot about Sleep Claws. So luckily for me, Sleep Powder fails, and I get the kill. For those of you that don't know, Showdown has a rule that follows by Smogon that has Sleep Claws. So you can only put one Pokemon per sleep per game. So if a Pokemon on your opponent's team already has one sleep, you cannot put another one to sleep. It will not allow you to. Just future reference for all you future Showdown players who want to learn some of the format and some of the Smogon rules if you don't already know them. So at this point now, I had switched into Weezing. Completely derping and forgetting that it was asleep, but at this point I said okay since it's already out Let's just go ahead and sacrifice it after realizing that there was nothing else I really wanted to switch into artillery and that Weezing really didn't do much to his team now from here Kadabra should be able to kill with an energy ball and It does magnificently as expected because Kadabra is hard body Thus clocks definitely have the shadow sneak but I wanted to check the Shadow Ball just to see how it would hit. I figured Dust Clock would be physically bulky, but it was actually, to my surprise, especially defensive. Which wasn't what I expected at all. So, my prediction here is to possibly go into Lanoon, predicting another Shadow Sneak, but no, I actually went into War Turtle, which was a terrible play on my part. This time I actually went into Lanoon, which is what I should have did the first time. Now hopefully he shadow sneaks me, or shadow punches, and he did, so we are good to go. The last time would have been a better play, because it would have been a prediction off the previous Pokemon. That time I just got lucky and it was a misaccount of him knowing that normal does not hit Ghost, and Ghost does not hit it normal with normal moves. So I kind of lucked out on that one for him having that lack of knowledge, but as you see he has the Pryroar here, which outspeeds, well, everything. And that will actually be good game for me, because nothing I have outspeeds this thing, and with Moxie, well, that's it. So there were a few mistakes here and there, but overall... It looks like he came out on top and there's nothing I can do about it. So nice job, Crimson. You got me. Pyroar is just a monster. It's so fast. And with Moxie, that is quite impressive. You know, now that I think about it, considering Excel Gore was faster, maybe I should have played Final Gambit. I mean, if I did it right there, I would have got the win well actually a draw 
because only in VGC format do you get a win for something like that. Anyhow, great battle, man. It was a present battle. You will battle again sometime. And as usual, if you guys like these type of fights, just like, comment, subscribe. Tell me in the comment section what other type of tiers or formats you want to see. I'll try to learn them. I'll try to earn my medal. And I will try to do a couple of different interesting things. So it's not boring. And we're doing a lot of stuff because Pokemon is a big game. It's a lot of different formats. A lot of different things to learn. And Showdown has a lot of different formats too. And as usual, I've been Retro Bro, and I'm signing out.